it's coffee time. Oh, that tastes fantastic. I'm so happy because originally I was going to be It's um, it's the tape that they use when you have a microphone taped to you. Eh, the more you know, beep. It's like this um, this really weird like honeycomb tape, and uh, when they need to put a microphone on you, it works really well on skin. It attaches itself really well to your skin if you ever need a microphone on your skin. Um, but in this case, they just put it on my clothes every time. But yeah, we were going to be on set until midnight. And it didn't wind up going until midnight. I was so happy. It was an all day shoot. Like I was going from Daily Bite this morning all the way until now. It's uh, 1045 and we finished shooting. We hadn't like packed everything up and started driving home yet, but we finished shooting at 10. And I was like, yes, I was so proud of myself because a lot of it, like there's a, there's a certain amount of stress when it comes to shoot times. Because if you're the person who's on camera, who's reading the teleprompter or saying the words, um, every time you mess up is, is more time added on, right? So really a lot of the time you are <laughs> the reason that it's late or the reason that it finishes early. So I was so excited when we finished so early. I was like, oh my gosh, thank God. Because you, know, you just, God, you just feel so bad if you, if you don't, if you, if you mess up a bunch, whenever we have a daily bite shoot and I just can't, like there's one topic that I just can't seem to wrap my head around the words of, and I just keep messing up over and over and over again, I feel so bad because, you know, all of us could have been off getting the coffee or eating breakfast by now, but no, we're still shooting this one, this one topic that I just can't say, you know? So I was, I was really happy that we were able to finish early. Um, and you know, my, like the crew that works on, it was mobile countdown. The crew that works on mobile countdown is so awesome as well. Like they're all just fantastic. So it just all came together. We finished two hours early. Mwah. So happy about that. And my phone is ringing. Hold on just a second. Boop. Silenced. Ha ha. Suck it, genie. <laughs> She's gonna watch this later and be like, oh, that was when I called you. Oh, I can't believe it. Um, some of you were asking about Sherlock because I never told you guys, I don't think I did anyway, I might have mentioned it briefly, um, what Sherlock's test results wound up being. So here is an update on Sherlock, my sweet, oh, my, my big boy, my love, my Sherlock cat. Um, so we took him in, had a bunch of tests done because remember his gums were super red and I was like, why is this happening? I don't understand. His gums have been super red for a while, but our old vet, I took him in and the vet was like, oh, this is normal. It's whatever. So I took him into this new vet and the new vet, because you know, I moved, um, the new vet looked at him and was like, how old is this cat? Because his gums look way worse than they should for his age. And I was like, oh no. So they ran a bunch of tests. He was like, there are so many different things that could cause this. Lots of respiratory diseases, just, you know, just feline infections in general. Like, we'll just test him. We'll see. Um, and I had made sure that Watson got tested for pretty much everything before I took her home because I was so worried about bringing her home and getting him sick, right? But this gum thing has been going on for a while, like way before I had Watson. So um, he finally called me and left me a message and said that uh, Sherlock Cat has what's called Khaleesi virus. There is no cure for it. Um, they don't know how to treat it, how to cure it, but they can find it, obviously. And um, it is the reason for his inflammations that are going on with his body. So the other thing that freaked me out is that sometimes it can be fatal. And I was like, what? Because, you know, Sherlock is, Sherlock's my boy. Like I, do, I would lose my mind. I would absolutely lose my mind if I lost Sherlock. But, um, you know, like they were saying, he's 
he's obviously had this for a long time, probably since he was in the shelter because it gets transferred between cats so easily in shelters, um, which means that it's not, it's probably, it's not fatal to him. He's had it for a long time. He's been carrying it for a long time. Um, and a lot of cats live with it their entire lives. It's the same as like feline herpes. Normally they just have it and it flares up once and then it just like goes away and they just have herpes for the rest of their lives, you know, just like people. So, um, yeah. So they are currently looking into, this is going to sound silly to some of you. Some of you are going to be like, really? They're looking, uh, my new vet contacted a animal dentist for me, basically, and was like, hey, I have this cat um, who has really bad gums, and if there's anything that we can do for it, let us know. So we're waiting back to hear on that to see whether or not there's anything that we can do for his gums. Um, again, there's no treatment for Khaleesi virus, so, but, uh, yeah. I, originally, when I heard the name of it, I was like, Khaleesi virus? Like, like from Game of Thrones, like Mother of Dragons virus. Like that's what I immediately thought of. And then I was like, I shouldn't be making jokes about this. But um, yeah, so he's, they seem to think that he's fine. Um, it's something that, you know, is going to go in his records and we're going to keep an eye on it. And they said that there's, you know, a high probability because it's so easy to transfer between cats. There's a high probability that Watson, Katie now has it as well. Um, but she's, I mean, she's seemed fine. But I'm going to bring her in anyway to, to check and see, you know, if she already had it and they just didn't pick it up or, you know, lots of things. So that's what's going on with Sherlock Cat. My darling, my darling king. <laughs> that's what's going on with him. Uh, I think that he's fine. He seems very happy. He's eating perfectly well. He's drinking plenty of water. Um which they said is, you know, a really good sign that he's still eating really well. But uh, they gave me an antiseptic gel, or maybe it's not an antiseptic, just a gel. They gave me a gel to put in his mouth every day um, that helps with, like, gum pain if he has any. And, um, and we're trying to figure out what to do about his poor face. But, but um, yeah, that's what's going on with Sherlock. And what's going on with me is just I was on I was on the shoot all day. But guys, we filmed one that I think is gonna look dope. Like they they kept the whole time that we were shooting it, they were like, this actually looks super cool. And I was like, yay! So so that's exciting. That's exciting. Things are gonna ramp up. Things are ramping up on Mobile Countdown. So keep keep an eye out for that. I don't know how many of you actually watch Mobile Countdown, but I love that show. I love doing it so much. Like, it's just so fun for me. But, um, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? I don't remember. I don't remember what else I was going to say. But, yeah. If any of you uh, watch Press Heart, you're wondering where the gameplay is for today. Um, I didn't realize the shoot was supposed to go so long, so I was like, oh, no gameplay today. And now I'm home early, and I'm like, oops. <laughs> but um, there will be two gameplay videos going up tomorrow. And as far as I know, Co-Optional Podcast is still going, same time as normal, um, and MangaPod, but yeah. So that's, man, tomorrow's going to be busy. Tomorrow! Tomorrow's going to be a thing. Today was a thing. And I think from, like, Wednesday on, it'll be pretty chill. But, yeah. Anywho, I hope that you guys had an amazing day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mwah!